Welcome to this week's video for Saturday. Um, we have things to open. I mentioned on the Wednesday video that I was going to have some packs to open up for Surging Sparks. I, do, I did order boxes this time. I know with Silicon, I was <clears throat> not very enthused about it and only opened the one box that I got for Helping Judge. I did the opening for that for Surging Sparks on Wednesday, but I think Surging Sparks is a better set, so I have order, I did order three boxes of this set like I would normally do. So we have some packs to open. Now, my, uh, my wisdom for opening packs is always this. <clears throat> Go in knowing that you're probably not going to get anything you want. So enjoy opening your packs for opening packs. Don't expect to get any specific card or cards because you, you won't. However, that said, the cards I would really like to pull are in the carousel on the right side of this video. You will notice there are both Jasmine's, the Lysia's, and the High Dragon Special Illustration Rare. If the opening that I did for the first box is any indication, um, this is going to be a hard set to pull what I want out of. <laughs> we will see. Basically, uh, guys, I'm opening packs, but if you want specific cards, just buy the specific cards. I do this for entertainment. Don't waste them. Oh, hi. <laughs> we have a cat trying to say hello. I don't waste money like I did. I know for a fact I'm not going to get what I want here, but all the same, it's going to be fun. If you want to get TCG Live codes, you can join us on Fridays on my Discord server. We have an online league that you can participate in, and you get a free code for participating. And first and second place get a little bit of, of codage too. So, All right, first pack, we have this Vilas. Togepi, Helioptile, Charcadet, Executor, Maridon, Cyrano, Wochen, Appleton, and Hollow is Tapu Lele. And I'm going to pass the Hollows off to my friend here, and if he could uh, sleep over my beard. And our second pack, we have everybody's favorite Sandcastle Sandy Guests. The Jilber, Magnemite, Lacka, Xerneas. I love that this is not a hollow. It's kind of weird, actually, that it's not a hollow. And then Pissimian, Lively Stadium. I liked Amped Amphitheater, but, you know, Chloridon and Rabska is our hollow for this pack. This is an interesting set. I think it's it's still mostly pretty good. Um, it doesn't have the the I'm undersized and undervalued thing going on that Seller Crown did. But you know. I got a little one Diglett, Spiel, Capsicid, Larvesta, Meow Stick with that beckoning fell ability. A finally a Paschal Berry, Vivian, Slack Off, Dusk Wall in reverse, and everybody's favorite kissing cousins, Gastrodon. Reminder, I do have three booster boxes to go for this, so there is a fair number of packs to watch. Oracorio, Bronzor, Morlo, Alolan Diglett, Shinotic, Time, Victini, Cofagrigus, Trapinch, and Milotic EX. The Milotic is my first hit from this box. That's cool. Uh, my friend here opened a box last night and just about pulled nothing. <laughs> uh, if it weren't for... Uh, oh, it's a pulled, well, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, you pulled still mostly nothing. But you did pull the uh, the Lysias that I'm after, so... Let's see. Alright, up next is Delmise. The Titan. Shrewdle. Rufflet. Indeedy. Terra Orb. Lettermane. Quaxley. Registeel, and Tapu Koko is our hollow. I like, I like Tapu Koko. I just don't like when it doesn't have free retreat. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why this one has to be the one retreater. I mean, there are a few one retreaters for Tapu Koko, but like, it could be still pretty balanced with it with zero retreat. Uh, Volcarona, Togepi, 
Blitzel, Yamis, Mousehold, Meowstic, Callbell, Togetic, Sizzlipede, and Chen Pao. Chen Pao is our favorite replacement for Pumpkin Boo that rotated last year. Or, well, earlier this year. When Evolving Skies left the standard format, our beloved Pumpkin Boo left it too. Do you think we'll see an Optic and Chen Pao getting played with rotation? Um, I don't think so, unless we get something like Path Peak that would require it. Because right now, we don't really have that much that warrants its use. Because, like, Pumpkin Boo mostly got used for Path of Peak, and somewhat ironically, didn't even see that much play with Path of Peak in, in the format. So, like, compared to what you would expect, it barely saw any. And we have a Skeletor's Hollow Rare. Did you pull Skeletor's yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. I think it ended up being one of my double hollow pull. It was. It was a double, one of the double hollow packs. Quexley. Larifesta. Minky. Execute with Precocious Evolution. Miraidon. You masquerading as a Latin Pokemon, Quexley. <laughs> Drayton. Walchen. Reverse Hollow Eevee. And a Kecleon. It's illustration Rare. I like this. I like this one. It's pretty good. <laughs> and Palkia is the hollow. So I keep all of the hits for a box down here until, uh, until I switch to box another box and then I condense them. But uh, yeah, I I don't hate that I pulled Kecleon. Right. And then Duraldon. And then we got Meryl, Lively Stadium. Once again, I want it to be an amphitheater. I like that name better. Vulpix and Sylveon EX. Sylveon is my favorite of the evolutions, right up there with Umbreon. They're basically tied, but let's be honest, they're, I still like Sylveon very slightly more. I'm actually very much looking forward to the new Sylveon we're going to be getting in Prismatic Evolutions. That's going to be super exciting. We have Swablu, Rotom, Vibravo, Klefki, Meddling Mammal. I will admit I like that name better than mine. Alicia's Appeal, Helioptile, Annihilate, and Terrapagos. Terrapagos is the hollow rare for this set. I'm going to say this again, and I've said this basically every Scarlet and Violet set, but I'm so glad they got rid of non-hollow rares. That was the worst. That's like you spent the money to open things and then you pull worse than nothing sometimes. Yeah, it's like this is this is an uncommon. It's That's what it is. It's an uncommon. Like, don't call it a hollow or a rare. Zangus. You know, there's no Survivor in this set. And that's so weird because they're usually in the sets together. Go right on. Scatterbug, Low and Diglett, and our kissing cousins. Gastrodon with Gastrodon. The first hollow repeat of the box. I think so. Yep. Gastrodons. They're putting us in a sticky bind. It's Fue Coco. His head is very empty. Don't mind him. My man got the brain capacity of a potato. He got the brain capacity of a Justin Basil. Nine tails. Too Dead, much, isn't it? <laughs> too much brain, but working on a little sleep. <laughs> also, hey, we have a second hollow duplication. This is Chen Pao again. Now I'm almost tempted to go and buy a box of uh, all day evolved just to try to pull a gold one. Yeah. For the memes. So I know I'm going to get asked this question because I get asked this question in every single one of these videos I do. Um, this is the Ultra Pro card sorter. If you are interested in one of these, you can pick them up on Amazon, but do check out your local game store first because there's a very high chance that if they do have them, they are much cheaper at your local game store than on Amazon. Amazon tends to be quite expensive for these. 
but I will say, even at the like twenty twenty five dollars you they usually show up for on Amazon, it's still worth that price. But like the game stores will often have them for like ten. But this is just a Ultra Pro card sorter or card sorting tray. BCW also carries a similar product. Uh, I don't like it quite as much, but it is a bit more rigid. The plastic's a little bit stronger. This one's just kind of more compact and good at its job. I like both, but this is, I think this is the better product. Um, even said, even that said though, uh, even one is a huge benefit to doing anything when you're dealing with opening packs of cards. Now you may not necessarily sort cards like I do, like I sort everything to type because of how I put things away, but still, hey look, it's Eternatus. <laughs> I do wish, I wish there were a way we could make that work in Eternal, because I feel like it would be pretty good. Like a new version of Alternate Prisma. I think I got something. Because you can do Double Dragon Energy, but you can't Dark Patch to it. So you would have to Max Elixir to it. So, to get around mm -hmm. that, um, you could uh, be playing on the Rally Back plan and just Zinnia to it. Maybe. And then Manual Attack DD. That's the way I was thinking about charging it up. Reverse hollow counter gain. You know what? Let's put the counter gains in a separate pile. What's that? Yeah. And Toga Kiss. Toga Kiss is a hollow. This is the first Toga Kiss, right? Yeah, first Toga Kiss. We haven't pulled another Toga counter gain, have we? Keep those separate. No, that's the uh, first one so far. First one, and it's a reverse. Go figure. That's that's like me. That's your one. That's your one game for the for the box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the way these cards smell when they're opening when they're fresh like this. I don't know if anybody else, if you guys notice the, the smell that cards have when they're first out of packs, really, they have, they kind of keep that smell for a while. Yeah. But like, I don't know, it's very nostalgic for me. I don't know if it's the ink blend now, but it seems like they hold that new card smell. It might be the chemicals they use to set the ink. I don't know. Either way. Hey, I was just crying about it. Counter game number two. Hey. So, not only did we get a new hollow, because we have not pulled it as rude yet, we also got the illustration rare of a Lolan Doug Trio. Trio, trio, trio. God, I, lo I love that they gave them hair. That's that's my favorite part of that. It's beautiful. I love, what's it? I love the moon anime when I they do that I love this too? one, that it has a full cut. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. They've had fun with it for sure. Clobobus. Heliobus. I think it was the Son of Man anime. They had the Doug Trios be like a an actor. Like mm -hmm. it was hilarious. See where where was Surfer when we had the Doug Trio? <laughs> Bingo. And Flamigo. He was getting taken over by the waves. It's it's every favorite bird brain. Actually it's not because it's not Kilobus. No, <laughs> I was gonna say we got the we got Murder Bird. Murder Bird's coming. I hope I can feel it. Surely I pull one of them in all these boxes. If not, we'll give, if not, we'll give you mine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pull one, buy one for like 50 cents later. <laughs> the quarter that it's, it's going to cost. It's not going to be expensive at all. Vulpix. Azumarill. Annihilate. Annihilate is such a cool name. Gravity Mountain. Relor. Drillbur. A full art. Durant. You know my opinions on full arts, but my audience, my <laughs> audience might not. Oh, I don't mind Durant. Oh, pardon. I don't mind Durant. I'm just not the biggest fan of full arts. Like full art Pokemon. Full art Pokemon to me, they're just so plain. There's very few that they've done really well. Yeah. But when they do that, the plain background like that, it's kind of. Well, I mean, that's kind of the shtick for full arts, is that it's just basically like, like almost like a clip art on top of a rainbow or whatever colored background and it's like ugh. I don't know I would much rather the special illustration rares the illustration rares kind of thing than those but it's Eternatus again Eternatus do we bring do we bring that that opinion this set seems to have a lot of repeat hollow rares I mean uh, I think form. most of them have honestly the Scarlet Violet era I think the number of hollows in the sets is too low I think it's just, I think, um... Because the uncommons tend to be harder to pull than the, the hollows. And full, That's my opinion, at least. Full ratio rise, I think it's gone up 
like that in the hollow row slot since 151s. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. We got a triple hit. The special illustration rare. Is that the special illustration rare? That is, right? That's a special illustration rare. Yes. Yeah. That is the special. I didn't double check that, but yes, it is. The special illustration rare of Clement's Quick Wit, the Scramble Switch, and Skeletors. It's a three, a three hit pack. That's pretty, well, two hit. This is just a hollow, but. Two and a half. And the fact that there's also a hollow on top of these is kind of cool. Normally you'd think they'd just replace it, but I guess it didn't. That's cool. I guess this appears in one of the reverse slots, right? That's what it is. Yeah. They, the, yeah. The, I forgot because there's the there are two two reverses in each pack now, so <clears throat> that's pretty good. That was a good pack. I like that pack. That pack can get to stay. <laughs> I will say this is already better than my first box. <laughs> no, this is, this not is that weird. that's a high bar. This is but, right on par yeah. with where my box ended. Yeah, watch the whole rest of the box be complete trash. No, I think we'll have a variety still. My first deduction kit. How am I supposed to do deduce anything without my deduction kit? I all got. This is the first I all got. That right? is the first I all got. Interesting. Um, where do you things go? So I don't want to mess up the organization again. <laughs> organization is a strong word, sir. Alright, Vampy. Stunfisk, Shellos. I feel like that's like the first Shellos, too. And Meowstic, Patchoberry, Vivian, Relor, Mankey. This just reminds me of TCG Pocket. The promo Mankey that went out was like everybody's going crazy over for the. So it's the Primate deck, right? Yes. It's the Primate, yeah. And it's almost, it's like a reverse part of that. It kind of is. in reverse pose. All right, we have our Diglett with his little hair, Volcarona, Togepi, Blitzel, an underappreciated Pokemon I feel, Indeedy, Duskball, Braviary, Dialga. It would be this. Why couldn't it just be a special illustration? <laughs> No. Oh, High Dragon, full art. And that's it. <laughs> it, it. It's doing that specifically because I just complained about how much I don't like full arts. But <laughs> it is High Dragon, so it's cool. Um, the High Dragon is pretty decent in my opinion, although it does not yet have results on Limitless from the tournament. So. I just don't think enough people are trying to cook with it. Oh, I don't think that's the case. I think it's probably just outclassed. But it's still, it's a good card. Certainly a fun card. I'm definitely want to keep an eye on come rotation too. A lot of these cards that are like, oh, it's not quite there, but it seems like it's good. Um, they're they're always the ones to be careful of after rotation because suddenly they're good enough. Well, I'll, I'll say the line like that too. Look at look at Palkia came out, ran wild in its first appearances, tapered off, and now it's seeing a resurgence. And I mean, some result. some Pokemon just. Never really leave to mute. <clears throat> <I'm> mute. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, my first several edge. Nice. I'm very happy about that actually because I haven't pulled no any of these, and this is I'm already halfway through my second box. So, first one in this video. But again, if you missed that first box, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday's video. Serilage is really good too. Like that's a card that that's a fun this, deck to play. This is a this is a meta contender coming in and going into the next format. Yeah, and I think I want to try to cook with it in internal also. I really want to see how I can maybe make it work in internal. And I think it probably would be decent in internal because it has a lot of tools available to it to make it do what it needs to do. So like you could play it with you could um, relatively battle play compressor. It. You can do all sorts of stuff. I was gonna say you could relatively play it like the guard of war boat we have. Yeah, Chen Pao for this pack. And only needing the one energy just like to magma basin. Uh, you don't even need magma basin. You just don't care. You're just mainly attach. But it is good to have that alternative attack. Not like it's necessary. Dino. Drasna. This is a common, right? Yeah. So it's, it's it's interesting to see which of the trainers become commons or are commons in the sets. It's just different, you know. 
Dragon, especially as for a longest time, most Worthy most trainers were only uncommon, unless they were like a special rarity or something. Limit and Tapu Lele. This thing has drifted. <laughs> there we go, but Tapu Lele. That's my what third one? Third Lele. <laughs> Execute. Swablu, where just deals playing hard to get. Rotom. Vibrava. Victini. Fun little fact the coin flip Victinis just got unbanned in eternal format. So have some fun with those while they're around. Get them while the going's new, huh? This, is this Palkia number three? I think so. I still only pulled the one the one regular Dialga, right? Because I pulled yeah. the reverse, but I don't count that. <laughs> Watch all. I don't think I pulled a reverse Watch all, which is upsetting. I need to pull that. <laughs> Moral. Shinothic. Battery Berry. Xerneas. Bronzong. And Landris. This is my first Landris. In this box, at least. I think I pulled him in the other one, but. Landors. Also known as Daddy. The buffest of the Weather Trio. He's he's definitely a daddy. He holds it down. Yeah. Does he let it up? Uh, he's Mr. Clean, didn't you know? How's he gonna be Mr. Clean with all that dirt? <laughs> he's Mr. Clean before he got clean. <laughs> before I hit the showers. <laughs> before, he hit the, before he hit the showers, yeah. Toros. Hey, we have a third counter game. Bravery, Helio, Excadrill, Galvagrius, and our basic psychic energy. Oh, yeah. That moment when your brain registers it as such as an useless card that it just throws it right in there. I know people are going to try to make it work, and maybe it'll even succeed, but meh. You already, you already heard my plans. <laughs> mm, yeah, I did. I got Sigiliff. I like Sigiliff. Sigiliff's cool. We gotta have more bad decks for League. <laughs> for the regular League. We actually need to build some, like, learn to play decks again, because the ones we have are outdated as hell. But, like, the ones I have for the gyms are fine, but, like, the ones that the store has... We, they're like Sun and Moon and early Scarlet or early Sword and Shield era. We need to update them. We and that's a that's a me, you, and Ryan sit down and yeah, sit down, look at our bulk, and figure out what we got to make because we can get like EXs for not much, especially some of the bulk ones. It would be fine for a deck like those. I should have held on to my Magnazon EXs. See, those are probably gonna be playable though. I think I think they're at least okay. Probably not meta, but. I mean, Energy Crush is a decent attack yeah. on it. Can be, at least. It's Kill off Watch all. Reverse Hollow. And this is my second one. I So, the Sarah Ledge, I, I am still excited about it. I pulled one of these in the video on Wednesday, so I pulled one of these in my first box. So I've pulled one of these already. And, of course, we have another caster done. So. I am so excited, though, because that's a really cool card. This is not a bad box. This is definitely the opposite of what I had for that first box. I was gonna say this is com this is comparatively multitudes better than the first one. Definitely better. Got the hydrate gone. And uh, I said Lele. <laughs> Coco, Coco, Coco number three. Coco number two. Or number two. We don't have a Coco counter. <laughs> there is a card there. That's what I say. I feel like something stuck to that. What are you throwing? Oh, it's the energy. It's, is it the energy? Yeah. I guess I can't see it from the side, but it's, yeah, I'll just toss the energy. There we go. All right. Club. Heliolisk. It's a toddle. Chill teaser toy. It's a fucking cat toy. Ah, reverse all kickly on. 
versatile applicant. And I think it's their second Rapska. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy because Rapska was like one of the first ones we opened too. I think it was like in the first four packs. Yeah. We are down to three packs for this box. Three packs. I'm I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this box so far. Like, have I pulled any of the cards I was hoping to pull out of packs? No, no, I haven't. But you know what? I haven't been completely robbed like I did the last box. Watch all. There's my reverse watch all. <laughs> I'm wondering where he's gonna come. There's Landorus. Pair of dads. <laughs> yeah. And now I have two packs left. We're on the second to last pack right now. Glimmit. Magnemite. Panzer. Oranguru. Surfer. Trying to hide behind that Oranguru. Appleton. Iron Bundle. Meryl. Primeape. And Cyclozar EX. This is one of those technically it's a hit cards. I would probably be probably be okay for like a beginner deck or something. It might be actually overpowered for a beginner deck, frankly, but we'll see. It does require three energy, maybe it would be too bad. I don't know. I think we have two of them and just try to go towards building that and, and either of the three energy attacks. Be bass, Procolor, and the mouse. Bupa. Bruxish. Everybody's favorite. Terminator. <laughs> Counter game. Executor. And my second floor jasmine. <laughs> Why can't they pull the jasmine? <laughs> or even Alicia. It's the second floor jasmine. This is so it didn't pull obviously in this box, but in the box I bought for the Pre-release kits, I got a Flart Jasmine in there, and it's cool, but uh, this is distinctly not Jasmine. All right, so let's recap this first box. Let's see what we got out of this box. Frankly, even though I'm whining about the Jasmine, it's still a good box. I feel like this is almost a last hour card. Like Yeah. <laughs> so, like, that's, that's our stack of hits right there. That's not too bad, right? I think so, it's decent overall. Jasmine. Cyclozar, Slacking, uh, Serilege, Lamigo, Sylveon, Milotic, the Illustration of Serilege, Illustra Special Illustration of Clement's Quick Wit, Illustration of Lolan Trio, Illustration of Cacleon, Full Art High Dragon, Art Durant, and finally, Scramble Switch. So again, absolutely decent as a box. And then just to give, give our quick count for the counter games, we have three copies and a reverse. So three regular copies and a reverse. So a full playset. Which is the, high, the highest average we've seen out of a box. And I'm gonna stick this below the energy box. for this so that uh, we get a new count for that, for the next box. And I'm also gonna put a code card divider for that. All right, we're gonna move on to box two. Pause real quick, we'll be right back. All right, so we have 72 more chances to crack any of the cards that are on the side there. We have not yet done it. Come on, Jasmine, there are two of you. <laughs> Let's get one of them. Preferably the special illustration rare. And now I have to spend less money getting a single. Kill a watch roll. Cactoy. Calden Toros. Lively Stadium. Hey, hey, this box starting out strong. High Dragon EX. Base rarity, which is aside from the special illustration rare you see off the side, uh, the card I want more than the full art. <laughs> well, you're two thirds of the way there. <laughs> I have another base rarity one, right? Oh, yeah. You're there. You, it, it's there, right? In my other box? Yes, sir. Yeah, the so. one from earlier this week. Yeah. So that that's not bad. That's that's progress for because that's another deck I want to try to make work in Eternal. And I think it can, but I think it could be a goddamn terror in Eternal. Hopefully not to the same degree as Dragapult, but Dragapult could do damage counters. High Dragon doesn't do damage counters, so that might be good enough. 
Well, it can still drop crazy stuff to shut off everything, but our first hollow out of here is Tapu Coco. You think we can go into control mill playing it? I don't know if you do, because like it does mill, but I don't know if that's what you focus on for that deck. It's just kind of an extra bit of disruption when you're trying to play against them, and it makes it even harder for them to deal with you. Because their resources are getting discarded. Because there were literally games we played when we were testing where it... Hi, Snorlax. Also, hi, Bronzong. And I did it twice with Bronzong. <laughs> it's kind of inconspicuous, the Bronzong. It's the reverses that, that throw... Cool. It's, it's the reverses that throw me off. I mean, sometimes I'm just dumb, but, you know. That's only sometimes. <laughs> Keyword. Okay, most of the time. I'm telling him so short, guys. A lowland dingot. Feel. Our Vesta. Amped Amphitheater. We used to call it Live by Sam. Live by Sam is such a lame name. Nine. Made them better. And the mouse, MP, and our second hollow is our kissing cousins. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know this set was taking place in Alabama. <laughs> Magnemite, Thaka, Oricorio, Bronzor, Iron Bundle. Not a four. At least he's a peel. Zumeral. Dumb eyes, Culberberry, and a full art whacking EX. These full arts are gonna haunt me forever. Hey, full arts, just do, just be trainers, please. I'll take that. Hey, let's give me that Donkey Kong vibes with that orange background. Right. <laughs> These guys here. Oh, we moved them one spot up there. Yeah, because we're gonna need four slots. Shrewdle. It's a very shrewd poodle. Mouse hold. Now sick. Helioptile. Crocolore. And Palkia is our third hollow. I don't know. Each basic energy attached to this Pokemon. Hmm. I wonder if this would work with Cherim. I see you. So I see you running. This is, so this is for, for those who are not familiar with this card. It uh, it says Space Crash for Grass Water. This attack does 40 damage for each basic energy attached to this Pokemon. So you can put chair on it and just throw a crap ton of energy on it. The only problem is once it gets knocked out, you basically lose all your damage output. But I feel like this could be a weird alternate attacker with something like Tail Mask. In standard? Mm. I don't know if the damage output's worth it with the acceleration we have in standard. Because if it were like any energy in play that you had, I could see it being pretty decent in standard. But since it has to specifically be attached to that Palkia, I don't think it's as good as it maybe. But it's Vilas. Is it just me or is this the first? No, it can't be the first Vilas. That's the first Vilas from this box. We, I think you have one in the last box. I did. It was the first darkness I put one. This is a reverse. All right, it's Vilas and a Milotic EX. Milotic. One card in control. I know it's going in something I'm playing. Mm -hmm. It is indeed. Give me goo. Give me something, please. Glimit, Togetic, Sizzlepeed. Call Bell, Miraidon, Drayton, Yupa, let's spew in some, and the Cofflegregious. Spooky. Cofflegregious, your late Halloween was last week. Well, actually, it was almost two weeks ago now. Well, I mean, we will save the pulls from your first box for only ghastly. <laughs> yeah, they were. It's making up for that stellar crown. Or that stellar crown. Yeah, the stellar crown box I got is what it is. That stellar crown box was ridiculous. That was like one of the best boxes I've ever. Like every card I could possibly want was in that thing. It seemed like, except I guess the rainbow. But, you know, Zarud, mythical monkey. 
Monkey, return to monkey. Yeah, I'm not there. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> All right. Bronzor, Applin, Derbaldon. Not the one you played in the deck, by the way. Wo Chin, Meddling Memo, Magneton, Vivian, Glimmera, and Dialga. Who's the first Dialga for this box? Time manipulation. Search after two cards, stuff your deck, and put them on the cards on top of it in any order. And Buster Tail. That's not very good. Unfortunately. I could see, like, I could theoretically see playing this lower format. But. I see this with a cape. And TCG Pocket. Control. And TCG Pocket, that could be busted. Yeah. The two, two card control, and then, like, 160 for three. Getting the, the right energy for it in TCG Pocket would be a challenge, but I think it would be good, so. It's a toggle. Our best stuff. And Cyclozar, yeah, is coming back to haunt me. <laughs> well, I guess we got one beginner deck going. Well, I would only put one EX in each of the beginner decks. So that's kind of how they always are. I wish he was better. I'd probably do a non Terra for the starter Pokemon too, or for the EX too. Something real cheap, real cheap, real crappy. Something that works. Is a bigger deck. Covered, you know. Lithia the Peel. No, that's not the one I wanted. Okay. Oh, Flora. And it's Precious Trolley. Also, Togekiss. Grab the grab the gang mobile. Yeah, pretty much. It's like get all your get all your buddies. Get a loser. We got a fight. What? Why am I getting in? I'm already in. Uh, We're putting the specs for you. Bevki, Way Coco, Glenmora, Blurmain, Drayton, Kilowatchel, Ringaroo, the Latios, and Tapu Coco. It is not the Latias, but it is still cool. And we gotta say, yeah. uh, out of the three of us, two of us have pulled the Latias. Has anyone pulled the Latias? I have. I haven't seen out of our group. Really pretty card, though. The Latios, yeah, it's gorgeous. Scatterbug, Watchroll. Nemesir, Nine Tails, Gruffy Eye, The Simeon, Gatterbug, Transform Sunny Form, and Chin Pow. Chow! Mr. Bean Chili. Everybody's favorite kitty cat, except maybe Sprigatito. Alright. Mine's so. actually Esper. <laughs> Yours is Esper. Mm -hmm. mm. Trap Inch. Ho oh, oh. Is that Ho oh? Is that first Ho oh, oh for this? I think it's the first Ho oh in both boxes. A fight I and Stupid Tree Bullard. <laughs> Why? Why couldn't you be. Why couldn't you be a, you be a trainer? <laughs> A playable. It's something, yeah, something playable. That'd be good. I don't know. I saw a pretty wacky list playing it. I've seen oh. wacky lists too. It doesn't make them good. <laughs> Where did the? Oh, I put it on spot. Looks like there we go. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of that picture. It's just not a very good card. I like it as a Pokemon, not as the cards they've been printing. Yeah, the cards have been bad. That's the problem. They, they printed one semi playable one back in like the Ben Light era. And that was it. And that's like, they're like, okay, now it's had its time. Done. Oh, and then didn't we have the weird tag team from Rounded Executor? Yeah. This is the first Iron Crown we've had in both boxes. Right? Yeah. I don't even think I had a reverse in the other one. No, we didn't. This is the first Iron Crown. Crazy. First of two boxes. What are the odds? We're, we're almost halfway through this box, too. 
That's crazy. Oh, he's crazy. That's crazy the odds on that. Relor. Helio. Network. Pavapus. Everyberry. Magneton. Latios. Maridon. Chocodet. Hanamtai Alka. Okay. This is the last pack for this half of the box. Sounds gorge. Schwiel. Dino. Little. Sorry, Dino. Not Dino. Ein. This is mine. Zimmeral. Annihilate. Mentine. Excadrill. And coffee juice. Okay. It's time to do the second half of this box. Did we pull all our good stuff from the first one? Find out now. <laughs> Let it start off with another really good hit in the first pack. <laughs> right, that'd be crazy. Alolan Diglett, Schwiel, Capsicid, Larvesta, Alolan Dug Trio, Clements Quick Wit, Paldean Tauros, Zangus, Applin, and Motherfucking Palisand. This I mean, card. I, I feel like I jinxed this. <laughs> this didn't, didn't Ryan pull like three of those during pre release? Yeah. Our, he he can build Palisand. It's not. I would say it's just not very good. It's just not very good. I'm sorry. Like in pre release format, sure, good enough. But in like the actual game, even standard format, I don't think it's good enough. And it's really bad in Eternal. Good, Klefki, Tapulele, <laughs> what's wrong, said Kitty? Dumb eyes, the Titan Shrewdle Rufflet. A deduction kit. I don't have enough of those. I might be able to do something. Pogepi. Primate. And the second Iron Crown. I'm glad that they heard us. They being Arceus. It's like, oh, you need some more of me. I do see that being a GLC card. Think so? With that first card? Was that the leading slash 40 times... If your opponent has three or more bench Pokemon, this attack does 80 more damage, so only 20 for two. Maybe. No. Drasna, Dusk Ball, Armor Rouge, Jasmine's Gaze, First Straits are still MIA, Gravity Mountain, and Gastrodon. Got a lot of the big snail. Mm -hmm. I had quite a few. Slug. I had quite a few of the slugs in. That first box, too, in the uh, one from Wednesday. It feels like it's one of the more common hollows. Okay. Gimgul Glimit. Togetic. Lapide. Battery Berry. Executor. Iron Bundle. Tandem Mouse. Arcadet. Motherfucker. Full art, Palace and EX. You're right up there with Ryan now with these Palace and Palace and need to leave me alone, man. What did I do to them? They're trying when, to put me in a barrack jail. When's the last time you went to the beach? <laughs> I was probably like 14. That's why the sand's coming back. <laughs> Look, just because it's been like 20 years since I've been in the beach doesn't mean anything, okay? <laughs> I'm just trying to spare everyone's eyes. <laughs> Good show. Quaxwell, Registeel, Spatra, Victory Chair Victini, 
Blitzel, Appleton, and Rabska. Is this the first Rabska for this box? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Where are there like a Rab wonder it to? I feel like Rabska was one of the very first ones we opened. I think it was the pack after High Dragon. Duralvon. Meryl, Screaming Children, Herfer, Registeel, More Screaming Children, Coridon, and the Dawn. The Archaladon. EX. This is, good, this is a good card, too. Uh, uh, this is a fun card to play. I don't know if it's necessarily meta competitive, but it is fun. Another card, another card that was seeing weird results with the Japanese. Yeah. The players. Yeah. Yeah, they're playing internet. Dial to do. Remember when we were testing it and I was like, man, why do I think it's because when we were first when I was first attacked, I was like, why did I think it was five energy? I did I did tell you why I figured it I figured out what it was, right? What was making it think it was five energy? Were you remembering Dial though? <laughs> no. Or the other dog? I was remembering um Marnie. The Marnie's Grim Snarl. Oh. The one that's coming out in the next set. In March or February or whatever it actually comes out. I did pull Etch Enriching Energy. So there's something. Uh, not a good card, but it is a, a spec, so there's that. Also, if I'm not mistaken, that's the first counter game of this box so far. So. Yeah, that is. Hooray for having lost Thunder Counter Games already. <laughs> Drillber. Not all of us can be that cool. Oh, double A spec box, too, by the way. Yeah, it is a double A spec box. It's true. Magma Zone. See, this, I feel like we go in one of those beginner decks. That's a very good card for beginner deck. And Trap Inch is joined by the one, the only. It's actually not the only, but, you know, I can pretend. Zarud. Can you help me find my son, my son in the jungle? Is his name Coco? Duraldon. Sizzlipede. Yamas. Eevee. Braviary. Clement's Quick Wit. Dedane. Registeel. And Togekiss. We got left of this box. It's my second reverse Lotrel. I definitely have all the Lotrels in there. Gatter Bug, Lotrel. More Dust Ball. Oh, oh. Culberberry. Reverse Rufflet. <laughs> Illustration Rare, Sveal, and. Iron Crown. So the ball and its kicker. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I like that art, though. It's so cute. This is only the second one I've seen. Like, physically. Who pulled the other one? Somebody at pre release I think it was um the guy that works at the Lego store across. Oh, okay. I think he had a little bit. Lego, that's pretty good. Execute, Cast Form, Mesprit, Scatterbug, Murder Bird, Chill, Teaser Toy, El Dantoros, Gimme Ghoul, Dizlapede, and Color Me Surprise. Is this not the first gouging fire in both boxes? I want to say yes. Well, you're still going to if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken with my box, it was the same way. I only got one. I feel like it's the first in all of the packs of cracked so far. Which is not good odds because we're they really five didn't want, packs in. They really didn't want it showing up for pre-release, it looks like. But then you saw every other person that got a kit at our pre-release had an ancient. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one in two boxes. And we're almost in with the second box. That's wild. I mean, this is a pretty... It's a very crazy. good card. Don't get me wrong, but it's still wild. 
And it was a it was an absolute menace in pre-release too. Shows Slack off the Zelf Vigoroth Haldan Tauros Apple Annihilate Terrapagos Gastrodon and Frickin' Flygon. Hi, Flygon. Nice to see you. You are the first. I'll take Flygon over another full. Unless that full art's a trainer. Five packs left for this box. Five packs. It's a very much a hit and run card. We get Buffalant, because, you know, somebody has an obsession with Gen 5 creatures. Mm -hmm. Crocolore, Tandemouse, Latios, Surfer, Appleton, Sigilif, Vulpix, and Coco Creatures. Also Grass Energy. Got a lot of coffin. <laughs> it's a bad omen. Scentiscorch, Shviel, I know, Little, and Jasmine's gay is trying to hide from me because she knows she's in trouble because she's not the full art. Xerneas, Hera Orb, Chilos, Annihilate, and Chen Powell. I think there's like the third one for this box. Yeah, we've had a few of those. Chen Powell's good. I don't know if I need that many of them, but Chen Powell's good. Spupa. Oh, hi. Vulpix is chilling with the fire or the grass types. We're gonna burn it down. Mantine. Iron Bundle. Alicia. Zumeral. Yuxi. Alolan Diglets. Landorus. Daddy himself. Blitzel, Trudel, Kecleon, that's the art from Shinji Kanda, Trapinch, Apple, Hello and the Trio, Bo Chin, Vigoroth, Hero Orb, and finally, a Jasmine. The full art Jasmine's case, yay! It is not the special illustration rare, but I am still excited, as you can tell by the fact that I am barely coherent. Yay. That's a really cool art. I like that art. I was going to say, we had very little uh, contingency before this. Now we have none. <laughs> yeah, Jasmine's for, the, for those who are unaware, Jasmine is my second favorite gym leader behind only Erica. I just haven't gotten lucky enough for them to print a train. My favorite trainers and something good in a bit. As Skeletors. What's your favorite trainer that you're not you're not seeing? Sabrina. Sabrina. Oh, she's surely she'll come down so that, um, That's why I keep hoping with the Tim Rock. What's that? <laughs> Even maybe just in battle partners. Battle They'll probably start out with the Kanto trainers. Give me a Sabrina's Alakazam. Right. A new one. Yeah. All right. Before we move on to our third and final box. We're going to recap that second box real fast. So we had Enriching Energy, Precious Trolley, Jasmine's Gaze. So we finally got one of those hits that I was after. Sveal, Latios, a Full Art Palisand, Full Art Alolan Executor EX, a Full Art Slacking EX, Flygon EX, Archelodon EX, Palisand EX, Cyclazar EX, Milotic EX, and Hydreigon EX. So all in all, that was actually a pretty good box. We can cry about whatever, but that was a good box. All right, time for our last box. We have 36 chances to hit the other cards that are still on the missing list. We're going to reset the counter game. We should reset counter game. Yeah. So to recap counter game, there was just one solo lone 
desperate counter gain in the whole box. It's actually funny too because I went back while we were paused and checked. We didn't miss them. There were there was just that one. There were, however, two summer lacks chilling in the trainer cards. So I that's mean, always fun. Sometimes they're about as they're about as there. They're they're like a pokey doll. All right, let's crack these packs. Let's get this going. All right. Heliolisk, the Toddle, Glimit, Magnemite, Chilberry, Zumeril, Annihilate, Perhaps a Kid, Reverse Hollow Duskfall, and our first pack is Durant EX. Durant. No word yet on how he does it with basketball. Pinching bugs. <laughs> My thought of getting bit by a Durant would be getting bit by like a bull in hand. Uh, yeah, it'd probably be very painful if not lethal. Scatterbug, Buffalo, Bass, Wilchin, Sterile Edge, Chill Teeter Toy, Eevee, Trap Inch, Daddy, I mean Landris, Landris. It's our first hollow rare from this box. Fist of Focus. That's an energy card for just this Pokemon. I feel like that would be a really good card for a starter deck, actually. Like for one of the beginner decks. Yeah. I Ranger wants to come along for a ride too. Blah blue, Gravity Mountain. A Lowland Dub Trio, Clement's Quick Wit, a reverse hollow iron bundle, a reverse hollow registeel, and chin. Pow. I always want to say EX at the end because I'm so used to saying Chen Pao EX. But it's not an EX. I hope this is the regular boy. It's the baby Chen Pao. Yeah. Up next is Crocolor. And the mouse. Stupa. Donovan. Littermane. Bruxish. Meddling Memo. Heliopto. Islipede and Palkia. All right, Sandy asked, Is Violus? I think it's my third one total. Rotom, Togepi, Update Tauros, Deduction Kit. I know how to full, full play set. It means I can do this whenever I want. Scatterbug, Gastrodon, and this motherfucking sand on this motherfucking beach. It's Palisand <laughs> We're right, I'm telling you, you're up there rivaling Ryan now. Good lord. I, I pulled, check my sack there. I'm pretty sure I pulled them during my first box opening, too. In that sack of the hits. I'm pretty sure I pulled Palisand there, too. I know for sure I did either there or in my uh, build and battle kits that I opened. Yeah, there's the polar and the regular in here too. Yeah, okay, so I'm not surprised. I <laughs> really, I really like that Larvesta though. From Wednesday. Gouging fire! It's our second gouging fire, everybody. It should not be an exciting pull, but it is because <laughs> there's so few of these guys. This is why there was only technically one MP in the winning team. <laughs> Come on. Here we are. So, Char Cadet. This is a cute art, too. Diglett. Sveal. Rayberry. Bad Rayberry. What fruit is that supposed to be? Chin Pao. Gastrodon. I wanted to say a gooseberry, but it doesn't grow out like that. Well, usually the names for these berries are very similar to actual berries. So I feel like there's there's got to be some sort of correlation with a real fruit. Is Maybe it, it's a... Is it supposed to be a banana? No, because isn't that what the... Pineapple. Or no, nap. Nanap berry. Nanap. No, pineapple is pineapple. Pineapple, pineapple is pineapple. Um, what is it? Because there's already a banana looking fruit that's pink and yellow. It's based on a Abidiba. Abidiba. 
also known as a lemon meringue pie fruit or wild sugar apple. Oh. Huh. See, it tripped me out because it looks like a sweet um, artichoke. <laughs> like a sweet artichoke. I mean, it looked a lot bigger than an artichoke to me. Jill Burr, Jill and Jill, Blackhoff, Oricorio, Goldengo, Magnazone, Fluorite, Enriching Energy, and Terrapagos. I'm, I'm sad it wasn't the blender. Enriching Energy and Terrapagos. I'm a little sad it wasn't another switch either. The scramble switch? Or the Crawley? Scramble switch. This super energy pro or whatever would have been good too. Yeah. Just so that's a different A spec. Caps of kids. Mm -hmm. Kind of design. Delmise. Titan. Iron Bundle. Loud Kids. Surfer. Esper. Terra Orb. And Iron Crown. That's I think the fourth one. Means I finally have a full place out of those guys. It took them long enough to arrive. Four boxes. That's all it takes. To get your iron crowns. Yeah. Four boxes. <laughs> is this white dentistry is so expensive? <laughs> hey, we're going to have to source those crowns for you. They are not cheap because they are so rare. Dantoros. One of the worst Pokemon in existence. And Skeletors. I was thinking about the silver joke and it reminded me of... Uh... A line from the song Brandy. They were, they were made of the finest silver from the north of Spain. Or just pa or is Paldea Base. <laughs> Shrewdle. Very shrewd Pokemon. Game Eagle. Limit. Registeel. Walrein. Magnazone. Spupa. Donvan. And Latias. EX. That's my first one in all these boxes, I think, unless there's one in there. I think I did pull one for my kits, though. I think I pulled one, but I think it was for my kits. Nope. That was, yeah, it's probably still sitting in my kits, but I, I think I pulled one of these. Just not from my boxes. Until right now. You gotta give them the line. Very playable. Oh, of... super playable. card's great. Probably, I think, did I put it at number one? I think I put it at number one for the set. Was so it either really number current. one or number two? Yeah, it was one of the two. Yeah. yeah, it's a super good card. Your basic Pokemon and play have no retreat costs. Good stuff. Togepi, Blitzel, Yamask, Twaxley. In D, Dusk Wall, Armor Rouge, Smoochum, Smoochum All. Our first counter game in the box is the reverse, and Daddy. At least you're getting the reverse counter. That's what, my second one? Yeah. I think we the three boxes, though. Sorry, I prefer regular. So. Togetic is Slippy. Bronzor, another overprinted Pokemon. Golden Go, Dusk Ball. Oh oh. Galore. Golden Go. And full art, Art Shaladon, the X. Maw. I have a cat in the way of my picture, so I can't see very well. But he's here. He's real. Also, the cat is real. Yeah. He's like, I'm just adorable. You're supposed to pet me while I'm here. You're supposed to give me the love. All right. Larvesta Mankey. Execute Swablu. Jasmine's Gaze. Bridgesteel Espathra. Jilber. More sand? No. More round. Ooh. It's a feel. I mean, if there's any. And is it rude? Yeah. I mean, it's. 
Look, I'm not going to complain about getting a duplicate of that guy. He's cute, at least. Like this cat here. She's off camera, but she's cute anyway. Once I get my new laptop, I'm going to set up like a workstation in my, in my bedroom. And I'm, I can't wait for her to try to chill there. No, that's good. That's her spot. All right, Darrell Don, Meryl, Drillber, Quaxley, Culverberry, Paulin, Toros, Flapple, Quaxwell, Centiscorch, and Dialga. We saw way more of the Palkia than the Dialga. Yes, that's true. <clears throat> It's funny. If you guys are wondering why sometimes I'm pulling out the energies and sometimes I'm not. Because when I pull the code cards, sometimes the energies come along and sometimes I don't. So if they come along, I just strip them off. Terminator. Papantoros. Reverse Hollow Indeedy. Yes, Indeedy. Drayton. And Gouging Fire. This is the third overall Gouging Fire. We have yet to pull a reverse for it. But two in this box. Are they both in this box? Hmm. Cool. Zangoose or Acorio, the good one. I like that Acorio art at least. I should say the, when I say the good one, I mean the right. Like it's, it's the right form of Acorio because like I like that one a lot. I like which one is the, the the salsa form and then the I like the psychic sad like, dancing one. There's only one I don't like, and I think it's the ghost one. That might be the one I like. I don't care for the electric one. Look, <laughs> see what I just did there. My brain was thinking psychic. I put it in the psychic. Hey, it's back now. Also, Golden Go, make it rain in your own type, please. But it's Pikachu. Yay, Pikachu. Now, if I decide to play Lost Box with Pikachu, I have one. <laughs> it's Pikachu. One. I know, right? I think it's my first Pikachu, isn't it? Yeah. I know it's my first Pikachu today. No, this is the first Pikachu between the three rocks. Yeah. I'm really liking that, like, pinkish purple. Yes, I love that border. Glenora. Snorlax. Primate. Rufflet. Counter Gain. Braviary. Spathra. Meryl. <laughs> so these two, because they're at a weird angle for me, I can't put them in right. And Rapagos is our hollow rare. It's the turtle. All right, we are now down to the last half of this box. Enter down to what? 18 packs. 18 packs, exactly. So show, show the show the bounds. There we go. I can't wait to go broke for the January, or not January, for the first set of the year, the first main set of the year, whatever it's gonna be called. Scarlet and Violet 9. How's that? So excited for that set. So excited for that set. I don't even know what's in it. Is the, is the EV set going to be the winner set for the combined? So it's the so the, the, the EV set, as he's calling it, or the Prismatic Evolutions, is January. That's what I'm saying. So is it, was it some... Um, was it supposed like, to be our winner set this year and it ended up no, it's just it's 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 like a crown zenith kind of set where it comes out a little bit later combines some stuff from the end of the year in japan so that we're caught up for when we get our main set of the year first main set of the year so that's what it's going to be i'm looking to go broke especially if it's a the gym the returning of trainers yeah i know we know for sure that we got lily's a uh, lily's pokemon we for sure have a marnie's pokemon we have some ends Pokemon, so we're getting it from a bunch of different generations. I I suspect the Marnie stuff is all coming from her deck, and, and the ends in stuff. Was he also in a deck? I can't remember. I don't remember if he had an official structure deck. That's what I'm looking for right now. Yeah, collection file in and collection file Lily, and then it's Stevens that has a deck. So the, the Lily collection file might be where the Lily stuff is coming from. The collection file in might be where the end stuff is coming from. 
and the Mar the deck for Morpeko and Grimmsnarl might be Marnie's stuff, and then we'll get some Steven stuff too. So it is safe to assume that we will have a representation of every generation's at least one. Three. Well, maybe. It's interesting though because that means that basically everything they've shown is probably not from battle partners. No, and it's and what's a little weird is each of those trainers is from Gen Five and up. Steven. Well, Steven's three. So three, we have what three, five, six, and eight right now represented. Who's representing six? Oh, not six, seven. Lily for seven, Marnie for eight. Oh my gosh. More sand. More sand. This is my third full art palace sands. Well, second today. I mean, if it's any indication, you know me and you are the kings of pulling bad, nice cards. I'm putting him behind this deal. Nah, he's a fuller. He goes with Arch Aladon. He's going to march. <laughs> he's going behind it, though. Bad card is bad. All right. Heliolus. Tuttle. Limit. Magnemite. Aldean Thoros. Latios. Surfer. Kid, Surfer again, and Skeletor. You know, looking at this glim, it just reminds me of a shallot. <laughs> you know, kind of. Blitzel. Shrudel. Fluttermane. I don't care for the heart on this Fluttermane. I don't know, something about it's just off for me. I think it's because the, the rest of the Fluttermane arts have all looked kind of menacing. That one just looks goofy. My first Black Curum. Black Curum. EX. I love the hollow pattern on there. Holy crap, that's bright. It's an, like, his is an oddly bright, like, it feels brighter than the Chen Pao yeah. foiling. And they're the same base colors all around. Bad Pokemon, <laughs> Ganguru, Vulpix, Lalu, Appleton, Iron Bundle, Easy as Appeal, Megaton Blower, Skarmory, and Zarude. Why does it feel like Zarud has been with half of the half of your A specs? It does feel a bit like that, right? Zarud bringing bringing the legendary stuff in. He's bringing you what got lost in the forest. <laughs> like here's the trash that fell out of the airplane. I mean, that does look like an older turbine. Exactly. <laughs> Trap it. Crap. This is the first item I've had in all three boxes. Surely not. I'm really hoping not, but I'm um, I'm like we'll pause here in a second. Now, now I'm like I think it might be Chakadets and Kafa Regis. I was gonna say the other Coridon, better Coridon. Yeah, let's pause for a sec. We're gonna come right back. All right, so I just confirmed it. That is indeed the first Coridonal from these three boxes. That is crazy. I can't believe it was that because that's a common. A common it took that fun, fun time long to get one. It was the it was the fact that we had to go back and recheck if it was the only one. Like the fact that I pulled how many more Chen Pao than that? And Chen Pao is a hollow rare? Like it's seven one, I think is where we're at like, right now. Yeah, it's crazy. The three bucks. Huh? Crazy, crazy. And our fourth gouging. It's like it's like this box had the place at. Mm -hmm. It's all fine. The way that's why, that's why we haven't found any cry. They've like, all melted. And the mouse. Golden go. Magazone. All right. <laughs> it's another Cacleon, everyone. That's a second duplicate illustration rare, but you know what? I like it, so. Kecleon is joined by Togekiss. A 
another partner for the stall deck too. <laughs> eh, I don't think that good. So many and Iron Crown. It said together family. <laughs> All these mouse holes. <laughs> Always mouse holds to feel it feed. <laughs> Dead in a black wall, induction kit, barrel edge, reverse watch roll, reverse bronzong, and silly on EX. Silly. That's my third one overall, I think. I was gonna say for Paldea having a having a mix of cat Pokemon from generations. Sure does have a mouse problem. Yeah, that's the second from these boxes and the third overall. Or Sylveon. Not bad. Caps a kid, Larvesta, Delmise, the Titan, Pashoberry, Vivian, and D, Dedane, Shrudel, and Cofferges. Mangate, Substrika, Meryl, Relor, D, Duskball, Armourge, Rufflet, Vampy, and Chen Pao. Chen Pao, kitty cat. Mm -hmm. Is it the cats aren't doing their job or what? Well, you can't blame him. He was asleep. <laughs> and Sylveon was at the contests, so. Or was Meowstic and Meowscarada just keeping them entertained? No. Yeah, Meowscarada is just doing tricks. What am I doing? Where did I Brutal. <laughs> you flipped them up. <laughs> I flipped them up, yes. It's a lot of psychic Pokemon cards for this one. Uh, it's pretty common, actually, unfortunately. I just got a Gastrodon for this pack. Um, the Psychic type and the Fighting type are pretty often overwhelmingly populous for a set. Every once in a while, grass is super big too, and water can often be big. But there's also like a ton of water Pokemon, so yeah, and a ton of grass and a lot of Pokemon falling in grass. I do think they could make. Um, they could make steel a bit bigger by moving um, rock types over to steel. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so is it a, is it a triple or it's a it's hit? it's a hit. It's Jasmine again. <laughs> I pulled two full arts. Did not pull a special illustration rare, but I did pull two full arts, Jasmine. That's a pretty good constellation, I think. I think so, yeah. I wish I'd pulled the Hydreigon. I wish I pulled the special illustration. I wish I pulled the Lacia, but you know what? I'll get two Jasmines. Wish, wish, wish. Sip. Bronzor. Murderbird. Lively Stadium. You know what I didn't pull? Murderbird X. Yeah. I've only got two packs left to do that in, so. Well, we're either going to get a murder birdie yet, so we hope for that other Jasmine. <laughs> or, like, any of the other three. Both, both yeah. in the same pack. Let's, let's make it all of the pack, all of them. It'll be Kilowattrol, Jasmine Special Illustration Rare. It'll That's be right High Dragon Special Illustration. No, there's no one hell we, we didn't know those American God packs. <laughs> right? The whole, the whole shebang in two packs. You know what? It's because I've been talking so much smack on Alone Executor. That's what it is. <laughs> Special Illustration Rare Alone Executor EX. Oh, brother. You couldn't be a high dragon. You had to be a tree. I will not lie, though. That, that order is getting to me. I like that. It looks really nice on that one. No, it looks good on all of them, I think. But... Bad card, pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard, but it's a bad card. 
Not the card I was hoping for. You see, bronze ore and could not have been more appropriate. The last pack. The last pack, everyone. The murder bird decided to come out to play. That is quite funny. He heard his beckoning call. <laughs> Indeed. Let's do a quick recap on this box, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, this box is a fun one, I think. I like, I like, I like. All right, for this box, we got Murder Bird, Kilowatch Roll EX itself, Sylveon, Black Kiram EX, Pikachu EX, Latias EX, Palisand, because of course there's a freaking Palisand. Durant. Jasmine's Gaze. Full art. Just like the last box. Archaladon EX. Being shiny as heck. A, of course it is. Palisand Full Art. The Special Illustration Rare. Alolan Executor EX. Kecleon Illustration Rare. Sphiel Illustration Rare. Megaton Blower. And enriching energy. Overall, these boxes were not that bad. Did I get all the cards I wanted? No. Did I at least get one of the four? Sure. I got it twice. <laughs> but I think, I mean, that's not a bad set of pulls for three boxes. I think I did okay. Definitely a lot better than I did on Wednesday. So it's all good. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed cracking packs with us. Um, you know, watching us get... A whopping one one counter game this last box too. Almost forgot to do that. But yep, that's it for this video. Keep an eye out on Monday for the next Eternal Monday video and on Wednesday for the bonus video. We'll see you guys all in the next one.